Hello, my name is Ji Xi, a PhD student from UCL, and this is Helga Guderman. I'm a lecturer at UCL. This fluidic haptic interface for mechanotactile feedback has been achieved through collaboration with our friends from the University of Pisa and SSSA, led by Calogero Oddo, Mian Li from Xi'an Jiaotong University, and Joseph Hardwick and Matthew Venus, plastic surgeons from the University Hospitals Coventry and Warwickshire NHS Trust. Our work has been inspired by 3D printed, body powered hands as the one shown by Dr. John Schull, founder of Enable in this video. The advantages of these devices are quite obvious. 3D printed, body powered hands are easily customizable and made of lightweight structures. 3D printers are widely available nowadays making the prosthesis cost-effective. Also, all of these devices are powered by limb or muscle movements, so there is no need for electronic parts such as batteries or microprocessors. This again makes the entire hand low weight and robust against external impact from things like moisture, sand and dirt. We at UCL together with our collaborators have created a purely mechanically driven haptic feedback system for these type of prosthesis. Our system is 3D printed and can be easily integrated in existing 3D printed body powered hands. The system is made using latest multi-material additive manufacturing, printing plastic and rubber like material at the same time. On the one side, we designed a fingertip housing made of very clear, which is a plastic-like material. The fingertip surface was printed using rubber-like material. Inside the fingertip, there's a cavity that is filled with fluid, such as water in our case. A hose or pipe connects the fingertip to the haptic feedback actuator or display. This display effectively works in a similar way. The housing is rigid with a flexible, soft membrane. Inside the haptic display, there is also a cavity filled with water. So when you press on the fingertip, the water pressure inside the system will increase and result in a little bubble on the feedback display. We built a prototype that helps to visualize the haptic feedback effect. Now, if you press the finger, I can see the force meter telling me how much force is applied seen by different LED lights in this video. To verify and validate the system, we built three haptic feedback actuators with different membrane diameters. You can see the test rig made of a linear rail and a force torque sensor on the left. The 7mm diameter membrane produced the highest value of the maximum transmitted force, which is 2.1 Newton, compared to 1.82 Newton from the 5mm diameter membrane and 0.48 Newton from the 3mm diameter membrane. The 3mm diameter membrane is less capable of transmitting the force as a relatively high pressure is required to overcome the surface tension changing from a flat into a convex configuration. If you are interested in more details of our research and the experiment with healthy participants, Please find the transaction on Haptic Paper via the QR code. A big thank you to our collaborators as well to the funding bodies, UCL Grand Challenges, the Royal Academy of Engineering, and the Erasmus Program of the European Union.